Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. No time for a long protracted intro. Shit is pretty fucking real right now. Okay. So I need to do just a little bit of inventory management here. Um, we're hanging on to this guy because I suspect we can use him down in the basements. I don't think I'm going to need a wooden board right now. At least I hope not. So that's getting stored. And then how much healing do I want, guys? That's the question right now. How much healing do I want? Okay, I think I need to top off my magnum. So I'm going to grab that ammo just to do that. I've currently got a, a mixed herb and a green herb. I've got a lot of greens and single reds and single blues over here. And then another full mixture. Probably don't need the extra knife right now. I don't know. It's hard, guys. It's hard to say. I guess I'm probably good with what I got, honestly. Let's, uh, okay, let's, let's reload the magnum. God damn it, he's so close. He's so close, guys. Uh, okay. Four extra shots will be stored for the Magnum. We'll just roll with seven for now. If I get into a situation where I need more than seven Magnum shots, I'm probably fucked anyway. Okay, now we run. We have to go back this way. We have to get to the parking garage now. Now, I would really love figure out what is still in this room but it's just infested with zombies so it's tricky it's very tricky I was really hoping he would fall over from that but he didn't what is in this room is it the freaking window is that why no that doesn't make any sense get out of here Oh, God damn it. Mr. X is going to come. We're making too much noise. We're making far too much noise. Green herb? Is that it? Okay, I guess I never got close enough to make it show up on my... on my map. But whatever, it's done now. Officer Elliot, leave me alone. I'm sorry, I don't have time to put you out of your misery. I really am, dude. Fuck you. I'm taking the hit. I'm taking the hit. I don't want to use up that knife. I can't do it. <sighs> Great start, guys. This is going so good. <laughs> okay, but we're out of the actual precinct. We're back into the parking garage. There's probably going to be some dogs out here. There's a dog corpse. I'm okay with that. I wonder if Mr. X can follow me down here. I wonder if he would. So let's see. Oh, damn, there's still something in the generator room, too? What did I leave in there? And do I even care at this point? That's the other question. <laughs> let's take a look at the other floors here. We still have the records room, which we cannot get into. Yeah, somebody actually told me in the comments that uh, Leon doesn't even get the heart key, guys. So I'm not actually missing anything there. It's just literally not possible with Leon, which is interesting. And then everything else is actually cleared out. We did a really good job of clearing out that area. It's just the generator room that has anything left. And I'm not sure I'm going to go back in there. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you guys. Okay, back in the safe room. I used up too many shotgun shells getting back here, but I knew that was a risk. And I do have the stars badge. All right, let's make our way all the way back through here. Because I want to know what's in that box. It could be something really amazing, guys. It could be like a rocket launcher. I'm trying to think what other weapons Leon would possibly get access to. I've already got the Magnum, which is a real good Mac Daddy gun. It could be like a machine gun of some kind, actually. So, gotta figure out... Oh, he broke this here. Yeah, that guy broke that floor when he jumped us. Does that mean I can't get back? Hold up, hold up. I don't want to actually climb down there. I don't think there's new enemies down here, but... I just want to know where I'm going. I don't think there's a way to get back over there. <laughs> Damn it. 
what if I... Maybe I can move that bridge back over? Or move it into a position where I can actually use it to get across? Because I had to move this bridge originally. Nope. What the hell? How do I get back there? Maybe there's a way to open it from the goddess statue that I don't know about. And I kind of doubt it. It, it. it seemed pretty self-evident that that way was closed up. That's disappointing, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty upset about that. I want whatever's in that box. It's got to be something really good, right? That's stupid. All right. We're going to store that. And I'll tell you what, we're going to take out two red herbs and we're going to mix these up so that I have two full heals going into whatever the hell I'm doing. Because I have to imagine that, uh, <laughs> I have to imagine that when I put this electronic part in, all those cells are going to open up. And I'm very scared about that. At least the dogs didn't come back, though. Very grateful for that. <sighs> Hope you guys are enjoying this series. You've been giving me a lot of good support on it, and I really appreciate it. It's so insanely stressful for me, but I am still having fun playing it. This is a really good series. Right. Did I ever figure out how to get back here? That's locked from the other side. Fucking Jesus. Okay, let's plan this out a little bit. That's not gonna open. That doesn't have power. I bet you, okay, so what's gonna happen is this little area right here connects around to that area, I think. Does that, does the map confirm that? It doesn't. But I'll bet you what happens is those doors open, like all the doors are going to open. So I'm going to have to take the long way around to get around the zombies. Okay. All right. And uh, I guess that's all I need to know. Cool. Okay, we place that. I actually need to rotate these panels. Are you kidding me? Oh, we have a bona fide actual puzzle to solve here, guys. So my question is, which two lines am I trying to connect here? Because we've got three lines. We've got purple, red, and blue. Purple has two lights on it. It would have to be connected like this. So I guess we want to get both red and blue to purple. That's a tall order, though. Huh. <laughs> this is a pain in the dick, let me tell you. There we go. Okay, that hasn't unleashed hell yet. I guess it won't happen until we pick up this card. <laughs> what else we got in here? Let's see, a Ben's memo. The station's swarming with monsters. Even here I can hear their cries, but it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant. Yep, that's Mr. X. The ultimate bioweapon developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy to think that that thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. Oh, fuck. You know what, guys? He's already been here. He's the guy who killed Ben. So, <laughs> we know he can get to this area. Uh... <laughs> Leon's just like, yoink. Yeah, but that doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I just find it way too coincidental Umbrella's one of the benefactors. You told me this interview was about the new scholarship umbrella set up. <laughs> Come on, that, that, nobody cares about that. They want to know about the G-Virus. Where did you hear about this? And that big fucking 
leaking sinkhole in the city, which, by the way, rumor has it goes straight to your underground lab. Now, are yeah. you going to talk to me, or are you going to... The interview is over. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> interview transcript. That doesn't explain the rumors about the orphanage. I just find it way too coincidental. Uh, this is the thing we just heard. He just gave us a transcript of that. They, they, he had to leave the bitch there at the end because, you know, super necessary. Parking garage key card. We got it, guys. Oh, yes. Okay. Hmm. What are they after? What are they after? World domination. Yep. Yep, That's yep, yep. Good. Fuck all y'all. Can I close them back up? Okay, that opens this. Got it. See y'all later, bitches. Ah, motherfuck! Give me a break. Fuck this. Go back to the shadow. Go back to the shadow. I did not pass through fire and death to bandy crooked words with a witless worm. Oh, Jesus Christ on a cracker! Ah! I didn't want to take that hit, but I had no choice. Son of a bitch! Thank you, Ada. Thank you. Twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Can we go? Nothing dies down here. <laughs> Tell that to Marvin. I take it you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it, let's get out of here. Dialogue in this game is kind of weird, isn't it, guys? It's almost like they were trying to keep the whole cheese aspect from the original game, but make it modern, like modern cheese, you know? Okay, um, I guess it's stew or die time, guys. I guess now would actually be a good time to try and get back to the generator room. If Ada will wait for us. I don't know if she will. It's actually straight ahead if I go through here. I don't have to go back through the kennel or the morgue. I guess I should try. I may end up actually taking damage. And it may end up not being worth it. But it also could end up being worth it. Also, my first instinct was to hit right to get my magnum there. So I'm, I'm going to stick it on the right side. Ada, please don't give me like a premature game over or anything like that. I just want to... I just want to come back here. Wait, I can't get through this way? I do have to go the long way around. Ah, shit. Alright, well. I'm going to be mad with myself if I don't clear out all these rooms. And I know that other people will be mad with, with me too. So, let's, uh... <laughs> let's try and make it happen. It's probably just going to be, like, a stupid blue herb. Actually, the dogs seem to have pissed off for now. Oh, I can hear them. They're still here. Nope. This isn't the right place. Just gonna exit that area right quick. I thought I heard something, but now they're... Now they're not here. Okay. All right, what am I missing? What did I not get close enough to to show up on the map? I really thought I had grabbed everything when I was here before. I wonder if they spawn in new stuff over time. The hell am I missing? There's nothing in here. I mean, there's no enemies either, so yay for that, but...
maybe the dog brought a new item with him because this is where we first got jumped. <laughs> he climbed that fence right there, and it was it was garbage, guys. Fence climbing dogs. Wonder how many dogs can do that in real life. Oh, gunpowder. Okay. And that'll that'd be it. Okay, I guess that was worth coming back. I mean, considering that I didn't actually get attacked, I do like having gunpowder. I just really hope that there's not a time limit on waiting for uh, Mr. X to get out of that flaming car wreck Ada put him into. Like, if you wait too long, does he come out and give it to you? Does X come give it to you? It's like we're still good. Okay. Sorry for the little excursion, guys, but I think it was worth it. Hey, Ada, you shut up. All right, I'm, I'm going through some shit here. I know I'm not Mr. Cool like you. I'm not giving a fuck. So long to this piece of shit place. Never ending rain. Herb. Ada, can you wait for me? I need to loot. Oh, she's listening to that tape right now. Hold up, is there a... Okay, according to my map, there's nothing else to collect out here. <laughs> is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come... I'm gonna use that herb. True. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. Gun shop! What about you? Trying to save the world? I told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. I can't explain to you guys in words how happy I am to not be in there anymore, but I'm sad that I have to leave that box in the basement behind. Let me see if the game was lying. Is there any loot back here? No. What happened here? The road just ends? And they set up cones over here? Cones are not good enough. Roads out. Going through that gun shop looks like the only way. Hey, you don't have to tell me twice. There's got to be loot in there, right? Even if it's already been looted, like there's got to be some stuff left over. Oh, she's the master of lock picking, guys. Look at that. And Leon, I don't want to hear any shit. What a mess. About how you can't steal from these people. Okay, it's the fucking zombie apocalypse. Take what you need. Take everything. Don't leave anything. What do we have here? Is that... Oh, it's a shotgun part. I was gonna say, is that a new shotgun? But it's just a new part. This is a custom part for the W870 that ups its max capacity to 8. Okay. Greater muzzle velocity and less spread makes each shot extra powerful. That is a good freaking upgrade. <laughs> yes. Do that straight away. And that does double the size of it. Not the biggest deal on the planet. Okay. That's good. That's good. I I'm willing to make that sacrifice. Oh, and a frag grenade. I love this place. This is my favorite place in the game. Did they, uh... They gave me four extra shots with that. Okay. I'll take it. Ada, you find anything useful? She's very preoccupied with this one spot down here on the ground. Okay. Okay. Leon, that would be a great time for your flashlight, by the way, because it's very dark in here. A little bit of that. Okay, so I've been wondering about this. I think this is the most handgun ammo I've ever had in this game. I could be wrong, but I was wondering if it, at some point there would be like a max ammo limit on a single inventory space, and I thought it might be 50, but we can have 51. So if there is a max limit on inventory space for the handgun ammo, it's not 50. Maybe it's 100. Oh, motherfucker. I, hurt you. I said... Don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm gonna ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you all. You gotta turn around and go right back out the way you came in. Dude, dude, that's a... I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. No! Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. That's cold. Terminate. 
fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. Why is she not attacking? Emma? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy? Is she like a halfway zombie? Those fucking things outside. Look what they did to us. You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was our sweet little angel. Mom. I'm sleeping, honey. Okay. And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. I don't fully understand this whole situation. Just go. Privacy. You are going to have to kill her, though. You know that, right? You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? Did he just do it? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. They may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Okay, well, I'm glad we got that squared away. I am just a little bit confused about the state of Emma right there. Was she... She obviously wasn't a full-on zombie, but she was not in her right mind. I guess she was just traumatized, like she was bitten and hadn't turned yet, but was severely traumatized? I don't know. I think the dad just did what he had to do, though, which I have much respect for. But if he didn't, well, I guess I'll learn the hard way. Okay, let's continue on, Ada. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. That explains the horrible things I've seen. How's my map looking? Okay, I guess we're good on loot. Yeah, most people aren't indestructible monsters. They can be destructed. <laughs> Not Mr. X, though. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Birkin. She's the uh, one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. I do vaguely recall that name. I, I think I know who she's referring to. And I think I know somebody else, but I won't spoil that for you guys if you're not familiar with this story. It's kind of a, I think there's going to be kind of a cool uh, callback. But yeah. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. So we're actively heading into a sewer. I mean, theoretically, there shouldn't be a lot of people down here, which means there shouldn't be a lot of zombies, but there's a lot of opportunities for other unsavory things. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on. Sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. Like all of Raccoon City? Including the police department? I don't like that I'm taking point here. I mean, I guess I have the better weaponry over Ada, but... She's a cool-ass super secret agent lady. Who probably has all kinds of secrets going on that I'm not privy to. 
And also as an NPC, she's pretty much indestructible, I think. Jesus. Jesus. That an earthquake? I sure as hell hope so. I mean, <laughs> I guess that's better than the other options that it could be. So yeah. What's this? Oh, nice. 59. Yeah. Just double check. My knife is equipped. Okay, good. I don't want to have my frag grenade equipped. I want to save that for a special occasion. sharp. Hang in there. I know exactly what that was, and I'm not a fan. I don't like what the fuck I'm walking into here. Uh, where am I going from here? Oh. Yay! Save room. Precious, precious save room. Well, let's see then. I could probably stow one of these. I think having two full heals on me at any given time is good enough. And I think I will re-max out my magnum ammo, not the gunpowder. We're going to save our gunpowder. I don't want to be using this shit to make handgun ammo right now. Um, the only thing I'm going to be using regular gunpowder for is to make shotgun shells or to mix with like a large gunpowder. Using just two regulars on its own seems like the worst idea ever right now. So, okay. That should be good in terms of inventory. I'm going to pop a save. This is probably a good time to call this episode, guys, because I think we're about to... I think we're about to walk into some shit up here. So, uh, yeah, we're out of the police station, which makes me happy, but we're, we're into possibly an even worse place here. But at least we have company now. We have Ada, so we're doing good. Yeah, all right. Thanks all for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for the great support on this series. It means a lot to me. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll catch you guys in the next part of Resident Evil 2. Take care.